I can remember it so vividly. Colden deteriorated so fast. All of these side effects that you can get from these medications, Colden was getting. Azacol, Remicade, Methotrexate, a long list of things. I can't remember them all. It was making him sicker. He was in a wheelchair. He couldn't stand up for more than a minute or two at a time. We were losing him. And we didn't know what to do. Pumping all these ridiculous pharmaceuticals in my child, her seizures were still upwards of 70 a day. Before seizure meds, my son had one seizure. After seizure meds, he said 30,000. Told the doctors, like, I'm not doing this anymore. Cannabis was the route to take. This is a, a medicine that's not legal back in our hometown. We left our family and our friends, everything behind. I've kicked people out of my life that used marijuana simply because I didn't want it around my kids. Seven months after leaving for Colorado, he was in remission. I was happier, not only because I was feeling better, but because I was actually able to do the things I love. You can actually use these things not just to get you high anymore. You know, weed is, is for medicine. A parent has the right to treat a child that's suffering. We used a Schedule One drug to put our child in remission. Everybody should have that option. With this coming into our town, it has helped us tremendously. We're building new schools, we're providing infrastructure, we're offsetting state deficits. Its success has become really the model for the world. It's time for people to know that patients are real. We're not criminals. We're not willing to stand in the shadows anymore. This is medicine. Cannabis is medicine. I would rather be illegally alive than legally dead.